couple of hours fishing in the late afternoon down a little pond, float fishing for carp. And right now I'm using the Harrison Dark Carbon Specialist Float Rod. It's the one pounder. And I'm into quite an angry little fish right now. I've got six pound line on, so I'm not in any worry. And I'm using the lift float right in the margin. I'll show you the float in a little bit. And as you can see, the rod's got a, a nice medium fast action, plenty of power, steering it away from the reeds. It's a very lightweight rod, and I'd be quite happy roach fishing right the way up to decent chub and decent tench with this model. Just enjoying the battle, it's getting closer to the net. Nice common. And as you can see, the shot just there, that's my anchor shot. Slightly overweighting, so I get a nice lift in the net. I've estimated this one, probably something like about six and a half. Quite a nice little common, very hard fighting. And back she goes. Lovely, now that's the lift floats, pole style, elongated sight tip. So it's got quite a long way to, to come down. And the shot, there's a BB and a number four. It actually takes two BB to cock it, but I've got the extra BB down there, so it sinks the entire float, just about an inch and a half, a couple of inches away from the hook. So it sinks it nicely, and then when the bait is picked up, lifts the shot and you get the standard classic lift bite. And bait of choice is always corn. Can't go wrong with corn at this time of year, early spring. Very nice. Single grain. I think I was on a size 14. Looks nice with a piece of corn. Also, nice thing about having the float just there is I can just ping a few baits out to it. And I'm just going to reset things. Very lazy fishing, margin fishing, but it's nice and deep. A good four feet, five feet. And I'm in again. It's a very lightweight specialist rod, this one. I'm just designed for the lighter side of the specialist fishing. Pleasure to use, and a two piece, so it packs down in the quiver. And it's just very, very specialist. And there you can see the pole float and the geese look uh, suitably uninterested. That one's particularly uninterested. This one's quite a small one as you can see, but very pretty carp they have in this lake. Very pretty. Be a cracker when that one gets to 20 pound, that's for sure. Can you imagine that at 20 pound? Very beautiful. Back you go. To fight another day. And the next method I'm using is what I call a bolt rig ledger float. It's a basic inline lead with a drift beater style float, pinched with two float stops. And I've got a thin antenna there for resistance against surface tow. And the lead was a one, one ounce in line as, as I showed you a minute ago. Three grains of corn on a hair stop and about a sort of four inch hook length. And the rod there is the Mark I Specialist 13.6. That's the one with the uh, retractable handle section for storage. And uh, very powerful. I just brought it out for a bit of fun, but capable of dealing with 20 pound carp easy and big barbel. So those are line bites. Great thing about this is you get a lot of indication when the tails are knocking against line. So I'm just waiting for that to rip off and it's off now. Doing a little bit of battle. It's got a medium action this rod. Plenty, plenty of power in the butt section to deal with anything, and I'm only messing around. 10 pound line, no issues with snags. 
apart from those lilies down in the corner, which I'm trying to steer it away from. And again, a very nice little mirror. Just enjoying the fun. And what was quite a grey day, actually. The fishing was good. In the net. Now the net's one pound and three quarters. That's about a five and a quarter. And again, a real pretty fish. Nice scales on that mirror. Beautiful and gold. I do like float fishing for carp. Great way of just having a few hours sport without having to carry everything, including the kitchen sink. And back it goes. Now thanks for watching, but don't go straight away. There's a little bit more to come. Enjoy. Now I've been fishing forever and I've never <laughs> thrown a net into the water before. But it's always the first time and it, it's always a camera pointing at you when you do stupid things. So, uh, there you go. And I got a little bit overzealous with some stinger nettles and they had their revenge on me and they are very hot at this time of year.